Hi everyone, welcome to another Green Leaf Terrain video. In this video, I will be showing you how to build up Ironheart Artisan's MDF kit. That involves two cans. I'm using uh, Coke cans that I have primed gray, just for ease of painting later. Um, I have separated all my parts out, so this is the base. We have two piles of rivets. The rivets go onto these consecutive little holes, not, they're not holes, but they're uh, guide, guidelines, and there are also guidelines on this top hatch. The rest of the top hatch involves this top ring, these side pieces that have this uh, circle pattern on them, then you have these two pieces that make the top part of the hatch, and then the rivets again. All of these pieces, these rungs, this top uh, scaffolding or walkway and the scaffolding part are all one piece and then this all frames out your can and then we have all of these pieces that are additive so these pieces add on to the sides of the, uh, these MDF guys to plug out this hole and then we have a little pile of additives for the can. So first things first for putting these three guys together I use a little bit of carpenter's glue or wood glue and I have it in a little pile here and I'm using a paintbrush to apply it and I use a little bit of super glue to add my cans on just for added strength. So first things first, I'm going to, or second thing, I guess I already said first things first, but I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to all these spots and add on all of my rivets. And they just simply sit on top of here and use that little guideline to light them up a little bit. So once you've got all of your rivets applied, you can start doing the assembly for the uh, supports for holding the cans. So these are the two middle guys. There are several of these guys, but these two guys have a little nub on the bottom to fit inside of here. Just gonna add a little bit to these guys. Stick them in. And then you have your end caps, which are these guys with the open ring. And you want to make sure that the detail with the uh, rivet showing is facing outside. Is there is a guideline for this guy to sit on the face of this guy. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue around the back edge of this guy. And a bit on this lattice part and I'm going to glue it on and then you can glue all of them on at the same time but I'm just going to do this way you take your scaffolding or the, the, the not scaffolding sorry the lattice small lattice piece and he sits as an accent on the back. So you're going to want to repeat this process on all four of these guys. So once you've repeated the process, you will have something that looks like this. And at this point, these guys have enough flexibility in them still because the glue hasn't fully set that you can add your cans in. At this stage is when I like to add a little dot of super glue just to add a little bit of strength and then you can slide your can in get your other can and slide him in and then just give it a little bit of pressure And at this stage, we can uh, do the little additives to these guys. So on this side, I am going to use the little valve. So the valve includes this solid piece with the, her the circle on it. So we have the solid piece with the circle on it. And 
and then we have the two valves themselves. You want to make sure that you have the one that has um, the detail on the outside. Or you just want to make sure it's flipped to the detail on the outside, I mean. turn it around and we have these circle rings and the top caps so the rings sit the same place and they are put on to look like a little bit of pipe coming out And the second piece is optional. Just going to add it on to here. Just to extend the pipe a little bit. And then you have your two end caps. your end cap in, make sure everything's lined up, you can just clean a little bit of the excess up with your paintbrush if you have excess, and then you have, God, it looks like this. So for now we can sit this guy aside and we can work on some other things. So once you've aligned this top ring in place, you can take these guys, piece them together. And you can take advantage of one of these signs if you want to. You can place it there. And you add a little bit of glue to this textured part. A little bit of glue to that textured part. And you can simply have a closed one. Like that. Or you can utilize this, like I'm saying. I'm failing. There we go, I did it. So, <laughs> so once that dries, you can slide that little sign out and it'll stay open. So I'm just going to put that aside for a second here. We can take these pieces and we can build up the frame for it. So once you piece that guy together, you can add a bit of glue to the top and you can place him on top of your frame there. 
you don't want to hold it precariously, it's much easier to actually build it on the ground or on the on your table. And then you can just flip it upside down. And add your glue to the top. So next you want to build up the scaffolding. You're going to take your floor please and make sure the design is face up. And it fits into these top holes and along these top run. Just add a bit of glue to that guy. sticks in there nicely and then you're going to take all these rungs make sure the design is facing up and that the staircase part or the part that jets out is facing inwards so you're just going to add some glue down the left side here and start sticking them in so once you've repeated this process down the left side you can do the same thing on the right side and you'll have something that looks like this and then you want to take your other piece of scaffolding and you're going to want to glue it and apply it through in uh, onto here. If there are guys inside, you can just nub them out. So I've added my glue onto it. And you want to be patient with this part, putting a little bit of pressure where they hold, hold their position. Oop, there's that last one. And then it just snap into place. And then you want to repeat the same process on the right side. So once you've got your scaffolding to this point, you can grab your cans back and there are guidelines for the scaffolding to fit into. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue onto those little spots, and there are two on the other side of the can. Then you just grab your scaffolding. Once the rungs are in there, it's actually pretty secure. So you can just stick it down. <coughs> you can take your top hatches. I closed my other top hatches because didn't want it open for this project. So you can stick them on there and line them up, push them down with a little bit of pressure. And then last thing is we have all these signs and whatnot. So you can take these triangular flammable signs. You can add them onto the sides of the can if you want to. But there is a nice flat space that they can sit that adds a little bit of detail to the uh, front of the uh, tank here. You can repeat that process if you want to. You can do whatever you want. You can not have these. You can add them on. You can add them on to the side of the tank. I'm going to put one of these big signs on here. And then this Ironheart Fuel Services sign can be placed on there. But for the purposes of my project, I am not going to add that piece on. So there you have the build of the Toucan Ironheart Artisans MDF kit. It actually looks pretty cool. It takes up a decent amount of space. Sorry. It is 6 inches by 6 inches, and it sits four inches high, it's about three inches up to the top of here, so it's good for 40k.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll have more videos to come.